The UAH pep band is no longer allowed to play at hockey games this season due to the pandemic, but they're putting up a fight. Our Kelly Kennedy tells us what the pep band is doing in hopes of being able to support the hockey team this season. Soon after the UAH pet band found out cheerleaders, mascots and bands were no longer allowed to play at hockey games this season, they took action by creating this petition to allow each school to make their own decision. Unlike a lot of colleges in the league, UAH has the ability to safely host a pet band and cheerleaders and other spirit groups in the stadium. This ban by the Western Collegiate Hockey Association comes at a time when the UAH hockey program is already struggling financially. The university actually decided to eliminate the hockey team in the spring, but due to the community raising over $500,000 in just one week, the school was able to continue the program this season. We feel like if the band was there to help the team, it would help not just the atmosphere, but the long-term standing of what's going to happen with this team right now. The pet band has already been practicing for the upcoming hockey season, and so far there have been no COVID cases among band members. However, infectious disease specialists say we must be even more cautious heading into the winter and during flu season. Now we are seeing these two viruses coming and they both have similar symptoms. They both can cause similar uh, illness, so we should be more more cautious even than before. The band says they're taking precautions they believe would make playing at hockey games safe for everyone. There's a tiny little hole in here, just big enough to fit a mouthpiece. But uh, as soon as I take the mouthpiece out, the flap covers my mouth back up and now no emission. We have these bell covers, which the study said pretty much eliminate any particulates that would be ejected from the bell while you play. UAH's first home game is in January, and the pet band hopes their petition catches the eye of the WCHA by then. For a link to the petition, head to rocketcitynow.com. Putting the Valley first, Kelly Kennedy, WZDX News.